On today's video, I'm going to show you how to build, automate, and customize your workflow. Starting off with creating your shared tags. In order to create your tag, you can select one of the cards or the emails, click here on the tag, and create. Once you have created them, you can then add them to your cards in order to classify and understand what each card is about without having to open up each and every one all the time. Also, you can come to your filter on your right hand side and filter your board by a determined tag. The next feature is automation. In order to create automation, you can click here on the drag icon available on the header of your inbox. Once you have clicked on drag, you can then click here on your left hand side on automations. To create a new automation, you can click here to create that automation and this window will show up. Here you can add the automation name, the description of your automation in order for you and your users to understand what this automation is about to then automate a certain determined action regarding that determined type of card. In the same window on my left hand side once again I can also see my templates. Here on templates this gives us the ability to create and share templates across all of our team members. Here, when you click to create a new template, you will then have the option to invite your team members in order for them to also have access to this template that you're going to create. Once I've chosen the name for my template, I can click on the next button. And here I will then go to our sequence feature. The sequence gives you the ability to create one, two, or how many other sequences attached to that main template. Meaning, once I have sent out this first template, I then can create the option that in case I do not receive a response from my determined client, I can schedule for an automated follow-up to go out without having to manually do so. For example, after a couple of days, if I do not get a response from my first email, it will then send out the second email. Have in mind that the sequence will end once you receive a reply. The next feature that I will show is the custom fields. Once you click on a card, you will see the option of custom fields here on the header of that card. Here we have various options in order for you to personalize and customize fields regarding a certain determined workflow. For example, here I can add short text, phone numbers, emails, etc. To create, you will choose, for example, I've chosen the currency custom field that is already attached to this board. In order to add it to the card, I can just click here and the determined custom field that I have already created previously will show up. Once I have added the information, I can click to save and now I can see the currency showing here inside of my card view. In order to see it in the board view, I will click here, click on show more and here I can now see that custom field or those custom fields that I have created for this board. Thank you and welcome to Drag.